I've been actually in the works for another video when Unity decided to make a little surprise for all of us. You've probably already heard it a thousand times, I'm not gonna repeat it. Long story short, I decided to switch to another engine and gave Godot a try. Why Godot, you might ask? Because there's no way this potato is running on real. Right off the bat, the UI kinda reminds me of Blender. The editor takes a bit getting used to, why can't I rotate in 3D? But right now I wanna see how the 3D graphics look. I made this simple scene for testing, and baked some lighting and turned all the fancy effects on. And honestly, this looks pretty darn good to me. Here's another test scene. So the graphical fidelity is a pass. Now let's check the performance. Um, I think Unity was faster. Let me check real quick. I get around 35 FPS in Godot, and back in Unity I couldn't kick baking to work. I did a little bit more testing, and the 3D performance is I think pretty much the same, with Unity being slightly faster at times, but it's nothing of a deal breaker. I decided to make a very simple game to learn the basics. Question is, what game do I make? This quote unquote game in my opinion is so iconic. Many of us started with this playlist from Brackies, and this was for many their very first game in Unity. I thought why not make this in Godot, this will both teach me the absolute basics of the engine, and also pay my respects to Unity. I'm reading the Godot documentation now, they have this guide for people coming from Unity. And they also have this step-by-step -step guide, which was also very useful. After reading the docs, my understanding is we have nodes here, instead of game objects. Except everything's a node, scenes, objects, components, and even prefabs. A scene acts as a root node, and objects are children of it. Components are children of the object node, and prefabs are other scenes that are loaded on top of the existing scene. So far so good. This node-based system actually makes more sense. I played around in the editor a little bit more, I'm still getting used to it, but now I think I'm ready to start writing some code. The C-sharp experience is surprisingly good, Visual Studio works great with Godot and no more waiting for half a minute for scripts to compile. Look! See how fast this is? The editor in Godot is so much faster and responsive compared to Unity. Anyway, I've put together this simple script for player movement and this very basic camera controller. Apparently we derive from the node that the script is placed on instead of something like node behavior, meaning no more get component calls as the script is already sitting on the node. And if you want to access other nodes, you can do so easily by accessing the parent, children or siblings, depending on where your node is located. Okay, the rest is just the usual start and update functions. This is the collision check, which is called by signals, which are kinda like send message method in Unity. Overall, the C# API is pretty straightforward, although it does have some minor inconveniences too. The last thing I did was adding UI. UI system is pretty solid, I'd say. I was a little confused at first and was especially struggling with making UI responsive. But this video helped me a lot. And with that done too, the game is finally ready. This was my very brief introduction to Godot. After this short experience with the engine, I think while it has its own shortcomings, it is a very much capable engine. And besides, no engine is perfect. My biggest concern currently is its performance. I'm not sure if it's good enough to run on my low-end device, I'll have to put it through tests. I also want to point out that this game that I made was by no means a good way to really see what the engine has to offer. I just didn't have enough time for a bigger project, as I've been very busy with the university lately and editing takes a lot of time. But I promise I'll make a proper game with Godot, and if that's something you'd want to see, consider subscribing. Well, that wraps it up for today. Bye.